Hey there, truck enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel, Drive TV. Today, we're diving into the world of pickup trucks, but with a twist. We're not talking about the best or the most iconic trucks. Instead, we're exploring the other side of the spectrum, the most disappointing pickup trucks ever made. Now, before we get started, let me make one thing clear. Every truck has its strengths and weaknesses. But these seven trucks we're about to discuss, well, let's just say they left a lot to be desired. Also, leave your comment below. What was the worst pickup ever made for you? I would love to hear your opinion. First up, we have the Hummer H3T. Now, the H3T was marketed as a smaller, more fuel-efficient version of the iconic Hummer brand, but despite its rugged looks, it failed to impress. With poor fuel economy, a cramped interior, and limited off-road capabilities compared to its larger siblings, the H3T left many enthusiasts disappointed. The Hummer H3T was often criticized as a pickup truck for several reasons poor fuel efficiency the H3T was notorious for its poor fuel efficiency. It had a heavy, boxy design and used large gas-guzzling engines, leading to high fuel consumption, which was not ideal for many consumers, especially considering rising concerns about environmental impact and fuel costs. Limited payload and towing capacity despite its rugged appearance, the H3T's payload and towing capacities were relatively low compared to other trucks in its class. This limited its practicality for heavy-duty tasks such as towing trailers or carrying heavy loads. Rough ride and handling the H3T was based on the Hummer H3 SUV platform, which was criticized for its rough ride quality and poor handling, especially on paved roads. While this ruggedness may have appealed to some off-road enthusiasts, it made the H3T less comfortable and less enjoyable to drive for everyday use. Interior quality and comfort The interior of the H3T was often criticized for its cheap materials and lack of refinement compared to other trucks in its price range. The cabin was cramped, and the seating comfort was subpar, further detracting from the overall appeal of the vehicle. High price tag the Hummer brand was associated with luxury and prestige, and as a result the H3T had a relatively high price tag compared to other mid-sized pickup trucks on the market. This made it less competitive in terms of value for money especially considering its shortcomings in terms of fuel efficiency, performance and comfort, size and maneuverability. While the H3T was marketed as a mid-size pickup truck, its dimensions made it feel larger and less maneuverable than many of its competitors. Its wide body and long wheelbase made it cumbersome to navigate in urban environments and tight spaces, diminishing its practicality for everyday use. Outdated design By the time the H3T was introduced, the Hummer brand's design language was becoming outdated, the H3T styling, which was derived from the military-inspired Humvee, appealed to a niche audience but failed to resonate with mainstream consumers who preferred more modern and refined designs offered by competitors. Off-road focus While the H3T was marketed as an off-road capable truck, its extreme focus on off-road performance came at the expense of on-road comfort and practicality. Lack of innovation The H3T lacked many of the modern features and technologies that were becoming increasingly common in the pickup truck market. It offered limited advanced safety features, infotainment options and driver assistance systems compared to its competitors, making it feel outdated and uncompetitive. Reliability concerns The Hummer brand had a reputation for reliability issues, and the H3T was no exception. Owners reported various mechanical problems and issues with build quality, including engine and transmission problems, electrical issues, and premature rusting of the body and frame. Environmental concerns as concerns about climate change and environmental sustainability grew, the H3T's large size, poor fuel efficiency, and high emissions became increasingly out of step with consumer preferences. Many buyers were reluctant to purchase a vehicle with such a significant environmental impact, further limiting its appeal. Overall, the Hummer H3T failed to resonate with consumers due to its outdated design, poor on-road performance. Next on our list is the Mitsubishi Raider. Essentially a rebadged Dodge Dakota, the Raider failed to make a mark and with lackluster performance, a forgettable design and limited configurations, it failed to stand out in a crowded segment. The Mitsubishi Raider was a mid-size pickup truck introduced by Mitsubishi Motors for the North American market. It was based on the Dodge Dakota platform through a partnership between Mitsubishi and Chrysler. While it had some positive attributes, such as a powerful engine and decent towing capacity, there were several reasons why it was considered a bad pickup truck lack of differentiation. The Raider was essentially a rebadged version of the Dodge Dakota with minimal changes. This lack of differentiation meant that it struggled to stand out in the highly competitive pickup truck market, especially against more established rivals like the Toyota Tacoma and Nissan Frontier. Poor sales performance despite being marketed as a capable and versatile truck, the Raider failed to gain traction with consumers. 
Its sales were consistently low compared to competitors, indicating that it failed to resonate with buyers in the highly competitive midsize truck segment. Limited configuration options The Raider was offered in a limited range of configurations, with fewer trim levels and options compared to its competitors. This limited customization options meant that buyers had fewer choices in terms of features and equipment, further diminishing its appeal. Subpar interior quality The interior of the Raider was criticized for its lackluster quality and outdated design. Materials used in the cabin were perceived as cheap and unrefined, making it feel less premium compared to rivals. Additionally, the interior. Overall, the Mitsubishi Raider was considered a bad pickup truck due to its lack of differentiation, poor sales performance, limited configuration options, subpar interior quality, reliability concerns, and inadequate marketing and support. These factors combined to make it an uncompetitive option in the midsize truck segment, leading to its eventual discontinuation. Colorado, because it is smaller than a conventional half-ton truck, the Chevy Colorado might seem like the good choice for anyone who doesn't plan on towing with their pickup. It's more fuel efficient, less expensive, and easier to handle than other trucks on the market. However, not everything is hunky-dory with the Colorado. First, two model years, 2004 and 2005, were plagued by numerous problems including an AC heater system that only works on high or not at all. Additionally, these models are known to have an engine start failure and be plagued by a check engine light that's constantly on. Some consumers have reported water leaking into the cab, a warning sign that some of these used trucks might now have a rusted frame or other issues from water damage. Similarly, the 2008 year model has had its share of similar issues with the troublesome addition of an easily fried electrical system and a faulty radiator which resulted in temperature fluctuations in the engine. As if that wasn't enough, all of the 2004 to 2011 Colorados were subject to a recall for a faulty child seat and faulty brake light. Finally the 2015 Chevy Colorado has been reported to be experiencing numerous transmission problems, including sluggish shifting or even a complete failure to downshift. This model also has the random engine stall issue too. All things considered, you might want to avoid the 2015 Colorado altogether. The Colorado is known for its sturdy construction and robust frame, making it well suited for heavy duty tasks encountered in work environments. The Colorado is known for its sturdy construction and robust frame, making it well suited for heavy duty tasks encountered in work environments. The Colorado comes in various configurations, including different bed lengths and cab styles, providing versatility to accommodate different work needs. Chevrolet has a reputation for building reliable vehicles, and the Colorado is no exception. The Ford Pinto pickup is a notable addition to automotive history, but for reasons many would rather forget. Introduced in 1971, the Pinto pickup was essentially a pickup version of the infamous Ford Pinto compact car. While the Pinto car itself gained notoriety due to safety concerns related to its fuel tank design, the pickup variant didn't fare much better. One of the most significant issues with the Ford Pinto pickup was its safety record. Like the Pinto car, the pickup version was plagued by concerns regarding its fuel system. The placement of the fuel tank in the rear, between the rear axle and the rear bumper made it particularly vulnerable in rear-end collisions. This design flaw meant that even low-speed impacts could lead to catastrophic fuel tank ruptures and fires, posing a serious risk to occupants. The safety concerns surrounding the Pinto pickup eventually led to a scandal for Ford. Internal documents revealed that the company knew about the safety issues but chose not to address them due to cost concerns. The resulting lawsuits, investigations, and negative publicity tarnished Ford's reputation and led to significant financial losses. Beyond safety concerns, the Ford Pinto pickup also faced criticism for its design and performance. Compared to other pickups of its time, it offered limited payload capacity and towing capability. Additionally, its boxy design and lackluster performance failed to impress consumers, further contributing to its lack of popularity in the market. Ultimately, the Ford Pinto pickup is remembered as a cautionary tale in automotive history, highlighting the importance of prioritizing safety in vehicle design and manufacturing. Despite its flaws, it serves as a reminder of the consequences that can arise when profit motives outweigh concerns for consumer safety. 
Let's delve into the Chevrolet Lovie light utility vehicle, which was a collaboration between Chevrolet and Isuzu, marketed under various names worldwide. Introduced to the US market in the 1970s, the LUV aimed to capitalize on the growing demand for compact trucks due to their economical appeal. One of the Chevrolet LUV's notable challenges was its struggle with durability. Despite its intended utility, the LUV often fell short in terms of longevity. Many owners reported issues with rust and corrosion, particularly in regions with harsh weather conditions. This susceptibility to rust not only affected the truck's appearance, but also compromised its structural integrity over time. Performance-wise, the LUV offered modest capabilities, thanks to its small displacement four-cylinder engines. While these engines provided decent fuel efficiency, they lacked the power needed for heavy-duty tasks like towing or hauling significant loads. This limited the truck's appeal to buyers who required more robust performance from their vehicles. In terms of features and comfort, the Chevrolet LUV lagged behind its competitors. The interior lacked the amenities and refinement found in other trucks of its era. Basic comforts were often absent, resulting in a less than pleasant driving experience for occupants. Additionally, the sparse equipment levels further diminished the truck's appeal to discerning buyers. Rust and corrosion were persistent issues for the LUV affecting not only its appearance, but also its structural integrity. The prevalence of rust in critical areas posed safety concerns and contributed to diminished resale value over time. Despite its collaboration with Isuzu, the Chevrolet LUV faced fierce competition from Japanese rivals offering superior build quality and reliability. Models like the Toyota Hilux and Nissan Datsun pickup outshone the LUV in terms of performance, durability, and overall value, leading to its eventual decline in popularity. In summary, while the Chevrolet LUV aimed to offer a practical and economical compact truck option, it struggled to overcome its durability issues, lackluster performance, and stiff competition from more refined rivals. These factors ultimately led to its inclusion on lists of the worst pickup trucks of all time. Introduced in 1971, the GMC Sprint was marketed as a utility vehicle, offering the versatility of both a car and a truck. It shared its platform with the Chevrolet El Camino and was essentially a rebadged version of the Chevrolet model. The GMC Sprint's compact size makes it maneuverable in urban environments and tight job sites, allowing it to access areas that larger trucks may struggle to reach. This agility is advantageous for contractors and workers who navigate crowded streets or narrow workspaces. Compared to larger full-size pickup trucks, the GMC Sprint typically offers better fuel efficiency, reducing operating costs for businesses and individuals who rely on their vehicles for work-related transportation. This can be especially beneficial for those who frequently travel long distances or make multiple stops throughout the day. The GMC Sprint's simplified mechanical systems and components make it relatively easy to maintain and repair. This aspect is appealing to small business owners and independent contractors who may perform their vehicle maintenance or rely on local mechanics for service. The availability of affordable replacement parts further contributes to the vehicle's suitability for work purposes. The GMC Sprint's design allows for easy customization and modification to accommodate specific work needs. From adding racks and shelving in the cargo bed to installing specialized equipment or toolboxes, the vehicle can be tailored to suit a wide range of professions and industries, including construction, plumbing, electrical work, and landscaping. Despite being a work truck, the GMC Sprint often retains its resale value well, particularly when properly maintained. This factor is advantageous for businesses and individuals who may eventually upgrade to newer vehicles or sell their existing ones. A higher resale value can help offset the initial investment and contribute to overall cost savings over the vehicle's life cycle. The GMC Sprint's compact size, fuel efficiency, ease of maintenance, adaptability, and resale value contribute to its classification as a work pickup truck in the U.S., making it a practical choice for a wide range of professional applications. The GMC S15 was introduced in 1982 as the successor to the GMC S15 Jimmy Compact SUV. It was part of the S-Series lineup of trucks produced by General Motors, which also included the Chevrolet S10. Similar to other pickup trucks, the GMC S15 features a cargo bed at the rear, providing ample space for transporting tools, equipment, and materials essential for various work tasks. This utility aspect makes it well-suited for industries such as construction, landscaping, and agriculture. 
culture, the GMC S15 offers a combination of passenger comfort and cargo carrying capability, allowing it to serve both personal and work-related purposes. Its versatile design makes it suitable for commuting during the week and tackling work projects on the weekends. Built with a sturdy frame and reliable components, the GMC S15 is designed to withstand the demands of daily use in rugged work environments. Its durable construction ensures it can handle heavy loads and rough terrain, making it a dependable choice for professionals who rely on their vehicles for work. The GMC S15 is equipped with capable engines and drivetrains that deliver sufficient power and towing capacity for a variety of work applications. Its performance capabilities make it suitable for hauling trailers, carrying payloads, and navigating challenging job sites with ease. Like other pickup trucks, the GMC S15 can be customized to meet specific work requirements. Optional features such as bed liners, toolboxes, and towing packages enhance its functionality and adaptability, allowing users to tailor the vehicle to suit their individual needs. The GMC S15's combination of utility, versatility, durability, performance, and customization options makes it a practical and reliable choice for professionals and businesses in need of a capable work pickup truck in the U.S.